We are here inside of Illustrator, and I'd like to make a comparison between the eraser, knife, and scissors tools. Now, this isn't a deep dive into the individual attributes of these tools. It is, like I said, more of a general comparison. So let's dive in. So first things first, we need to find these tools. So we've got the tools running down the left just here. Well, here's the eraser tool. If I click and hold, there's the scissors tool as well. And if you're expecting to see the knife tool in amongst these other tools, you're not going crazy. It should be there. Adobe recently have been messing around with the layout of their tools. Okay, if you go up to Window, Toolbars, and change it from Basic to Advanced, suddenly all these missing tools suddenly show up. And if I click and hold again on the Eraser tool, check it out. The Knife tool has suddenly reappeared. Problem solved. Let's dive in. So let's grab the Eraser tool. Now, if you double click on the Eraser tool icon, you can bring up a series of options. Double clicking on the other tools does not do this. Now, you can play with these options in your own time, guys. I'm going to ignore all of them. There is a size option just here. I'm going to cancel out of here, but I can play with that size option via a keyboard shortcut. The square bracket keys near the return or the enter key. So that's the left and the right square bracket keys. If I tap those, you can see I can change the size of the cursor of the eraser tool just here. Now, if I click and drag like this, you can see I can happily erase through whatever's on the page. Let me back up a step just here. Let's say I wanted the eraser tool to only affect this object on the left. The trick is to first select it. Now, even though I'm currently using the eraser tool, if I just hold down the command or the control key, it temporarily gives me the selection tool. I can select my shape, release the key, I'm still using the eraser tool, but notice I only have the left object selected. So now even if I drag through all of them, it looks like I'm erasing all of them. But as soon as I release my mouse, turns out I'm only affecting the one on the left. Okay, so let me back up just here. Okay, so that's the eraser tool, guys. What I'm gonna do is quickly use all three tools and then I'll make a comparison at the end. So let's go and grab now the knife tool. And the knife tool functions similarly to the eraser tool in that they act almost like brushes. You basically just click and drag through an object. So I want to only affect this second shape. So I hold down my little keyboard trick, the command of the control key, select the second object. Now with the knife tool, I can happily make a cut like so. Let's go and grab the scissors tool. Now this guy does not act like a brush. I want to affect this third shape just here. So if I click in the middle, for example, just here, I basically get an error message saying I need to click on a path or an anchor point on a path. So I'll just choose okay. And let's go and say click just here and then just here. Fantastic. So we've made our three cuts using these three separate tools. Let's now compare them. I'll just go and grab my selection tool just here, up here in the upper left corner. Okay, well, the first obvious thing is the eraser tool takes out a big chunk of our object, and that chunk is the width of whatever we set that cursor to be at the very start. So notice the knife tool, very precise tool, it's made a cut, but we haven't lost any area, and we're not actually quite sure what the scissors tool is doing just yet. We'll review that in a second. So to sum up just there, the eraser tool takes out chunks, the knife and scissors tools do not. Okay, so the eraser tool. So we're left with two separate objects, and these objects are closed paths. And we know they are closed because the stroke goes all the way around the shape. Now with the knife tool just here, if I drag this second piece away, check it out. We also have two objects and they are also two closed paths. So very similar result to the eraser tool. It's just that we haven't lost any of that area just there. Now the scissors tool just over here, I'm gonna grab this piece and move it away and check this out. This is very different to these two examples just here. We are left with two open paths, and we know they are open because the stroke doesn't go all the way around. So the eraser and knife tool give us two closed paths. The scissors tool gives us two open paths. And the last major difference that I'd like to point out just here is the eraser and the knife tool. I've said a few times now they basically act like brushes. The result actually supports for one of a better term, curvature. So you can see with the eraser tool, I was able to carve out 
these arc discs here, and the knife tool also gave me these arc discs here. The scissors tool does not. Because you're basically just clicking on paths, the result is going to be a straight edge result like you see just here. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. Again, just a quick general comparison between the eraser, knife, and scissors tools here inside of Illustrator. I hope that helps you with your designing. Catch you later.